guys, so it is December 5th and now I wanted to give you an update on my Tarte Aquarilis palette. I have been working on this palette and painting it since January 1st. It is now December 5th, so I wanted to give you an update before my, well, my last update before my finale. So I have about three more weeks left in December, so let me just show you guys where I'm at. So this is currently where I'm at with this palette. As you can see, the biggest change is probably this pink shade. I have this small sliver left on it. What I've been mainly doing is using this pink shade all over the lid, then kind of putting a light layer of this yellow shade. So there's a small dip forming over there. And then this dark brown shade I will still use on my outer corner. So. The next thing that is like the most progress is the bronzer. So this is the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I use these two like little corners on my crease just to kind of blend it out or just kind of set a nice crease color for these shades. And then I'll also use the bronzer around here to bronze up my face. So I've been working on that a lot and that is the progress on the bronzer. The highlight, I just don't use a lot of highlight. I use it pretty much on just my cheekbones every day, sometimes down the bridge of my nose, but haven't had too much progress on it, but I am still using it pretty much every day. And I really didn't touch this blue shade right here. I do have it under my lower lashes today, but I don't really reach for blue in like the fall winter time. So, for the next couple of weeks, I am definitely going to try and use up that little sliver of that pink sh pink coral shade up. Hopefully I can hit pan on the like yellow shade. Let me show you guys a swatch of it. So it's kind of just like a yellow creamy beige shade. It's a really great formula. It hasn't like dried out or anything and it's a really nice all over the lid shade. Let's see if I can swatch that pink one for you. I haven't swatched these in a while. This is almost like a duo chrome. It's right there. It's kind of very faint. Let's see. It's hard to get a swatch. Let's see if you can see that. It is right here on top. So it's a little bit harder to see just because it's a very small corner left in that palette. But like I've been saying, I use the pink shade all over my lid and then I'll apply a light layer of the like creamy yellow shade and then so this next shade is that blue that I'm still working on and it looks like that on the finger and here it is on my hand so I could definitely still use that for the next couple weeks I can probably combine it with maybe like a green shade to just help with the holiday spirit and then, let's see, I'll show you guys the highlight. The highlight is like that. It's very, very similar to the eyeshadow. Maybe just a little bit whiter and brighter. But that's the highlight shade. And then I've been pretty much wearing the blush all year. So it's on this pink finger. And let's see if I can build it up for you guys. It is right there on my hand. So it's called Captivating and it does last on the skin. So that is kind of where I'm at with this palette. I am definitely going to keep trying to work on this. Um, maybe use up right here the little bit of the champagne highlight. Try and use up the bronzer in the pink shade and then hopefully hit pan on that yellow gold shade. So I will let you guys know. Wish me luck and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for the finale of my Pan That Palette. Thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.